J Drone here. This is the Air Hogs Micro Drone that I got for under twenty dollars. We're gonna give it a fly in here. It sucks. Um, I want to get outside. I want to fly. Uh, I want to fly that drone that was sent to me by a YouTuber that I didn't get to fly yet. Uh, precipitation is extremely high. Uh, visibility is like next to nothing. And just to go ahead and turn that on by the switch there, and it's extremely foggy and moisture. I just had a Hubson H107C out, and it was covered in moisture. Video didn't get nothing on video, which I was pretty upset about. Uh, then you just throttle up and down, and this thing should be good to go. There's one and two speed setting. Let's see. This is probably a flip button, maybe. No, I don't know what that is. Um, these are definitely all trims. Not sure what that one is, but uh, let's go ahead and up in the first setting here. Now, again, if you were, you could see that spinning. I believe they're both meant to spin. I don't know why the other one's not spinning. That actually looks really cool while it's spinning. So let's see. Let's do a little catch here and see if we can get this other one spinning. Maybe the other one's not. No, the other one's good. They're both spinning. So here, check it out. Bam, both spinning. So ideally, if you were a, if you flew this like really slowly, you can roll this against the ground, but that kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, we'll, we'll try to show you here. Bam, just like that. We don't have much room to roll, although we could make more room to roll. We'll do it. Hold on. We'll just close the spark case. So what we'll do, we'll roll right across here just to show you. So it, I'm just lightly going up on the throttle and pushing forward. Wow, bounce back. Why did it bounce back? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, I guess it's meant to also bounce off stuff. Uh, but I kind of want to go wrong way. Let's see. I guess the black is your front. The black propellers. We're going to go... Maybe the yellow is the front. We have red lights in the back. Which, I think red lights in the back sounds right. So there we go. We're bouncing off all types of stuff. So yeah, the red lights in the back and your yellow propellers in the front. That's for orientation. And this is pretty cool. I, I've flown one of these before, not from Air Hogs, but from uh, a maker that I don't even know if they're making drones anymore. Um, I think it's called Air Hawk. And we're just going to go ahead and try to roll here. Whoop. Nope, definitely not getting out of that. That's wrapped around there. But here, we'll show you another roll. Bam! Bounces off, and then you're up in the air. Uh, pretty neat. And we will we'll go ahead and turn it in. Wow, dude. This is in the first speed setting. <laughs> and we can definitely go up again. Not going up out of that did not have my orientation properly so we will grab it and we could we might have been able to go up out of that let's go come on come on there we go and then we will back pedal out of here yeah i'm waiting for the weather to get nice to fly this this is a diy drone this is my original diy drone that uh we busted up flying in the ice cold but um dude epic fpv flyer get epic flight times with that too so let's go ahead and put it in the second speed setting super bounce back all right we're not going to try to bounce over that we are going to uh right here let's make it level there we go we got a ramp so let's just put that right there see if it'll stop probably ain't gonna stop no it's just gonna keep rolling well here um j drone's playing games here we'll, we'll use the lipo battery to uh stop it and we want to roll forward yeah <laughs> Nope, not getting out of that. All right, we're in the second speed setting here, guys. First one was pretty peppy. <laughs> it would help if this room was cleaned up a little bit. And we'll just drop this down. We'll make that our flight pad again. So we're going to go up. And it's down and I don't think we're getting up from that nope we are hitting the truck so I don't know this is neat I mean as far as yaw rate goes there's like none 
and that's my issue that I'm not able to turn this and bank this quickly that's the R8 we'll bring this over here I know uh, looking into the looking into the windows over there it's probably just casting light so we'll bring this down there's a little look at the R8 it's like next to none so that's my issue with it that I'm not able to turn out quickly and therefore uh, we fall and that's gonna be a hard one to get let's see and this should not be there this actually goes to the wall here at gimbal which I don't know where the gimbal is there it's right there that goes right there um oh yeah that's all the way back there guys let's see all right so we're gonna back out that'd be epic if I could get it out of there <laughs> Definitely not getting it out of there. All right, so I got it closer that I should be able to grab it. Just a little look at the drones on the shelf. So it's a neat drum for under twenty dollars. It's not bad. Um, it really could have used the yaw rate. Like the yaw rate's ridiculously slow on this. And that's my issue with it. You can't really do funnels with it. And because how congested my room is, the wheels keep on hitting stuff. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. This was just a really quick look at this drone. Neat, neat drone. Um, something to fly around in the house. Maybe something to get the kids. Or if you're bored and you have a less mess <laughs> of a room, you'd be able to buzz around quickly. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And bam, so there's a look at it again. Later.